What really happens to your muscles if you stop working out? You might think a short break won't hurt, but the truth is shocking. In just seven days, your hard-earned muscle begins to shrink. By 14 days, your strength drops faster than you expect. And after 30 days, your metabolism slows down, making it harder to stay fit. Don't let your progress vanish! Stay with us to discover the exact timeline of muscle loss and how to fight back before it's too late. Missing this could cost you your gains! Muscle loss when you stop working out? The first and most noticeable change your body experiences is muscle loss. Muscles thrive on regular activity and resistance training to stay strong and healthy. Within just seven days of not exercising, your muscles begin to shrink, a process called muscle atrophy. This happens because your body senses that it no longer needs to maintain the same amount of muscle mass when it's not being challenged. During this initial week, the decrease in muscle size might not be very obvious visually, but internally, your muscle fibers start to lose some of their protein content. This reduction means your muscles become weaker and less efficient. The blood flow to muscles also decreases, which can slow down the delivery of nutrients and oxygen that muscles need to stay healthy and recover. Muscle loss also impacts your metabolism. Muscles burn calories even at rest, so as muscle mass decreases, your resting metabolic rate drops too. This can lead to unwanted fat gain if you don't adjust your diet or increase other physical activities. It's important to understand that the muscle loss in just seven days is usually not severe and can be reversed quickly once you resume training. However, if an activity continues, the loss will become more significant. The rate of muscle loss varies from person to person and depends on factors such as age, diet, and previous training level. So, in summary, after seven days without working out, your muscles begin shrinking, strength starts to fade, and your metabolism slows down. This early phase is critical because it sets the stage for how much muscle you might lose if you stay inactive for longer. Staying active or finding alternative exercises can help minimize muscle loss during breaks. Strength drop after the initial muscle loss in the first week. The next major change you'll notice by around 14 days of not working out is a significant drop in strength. Strength and muscle size are closely connected, but they don't decline at exactly the same rate. In fact, strength often decreases faster than muscle mass during inactivity. This happens because strength depends not only on muscle size, but also on your nervous system's ability to activate muscles efficiently. When you stop training, your brain and nerves reduce the communication signals they send to muscle fibers, leading to decreased muscle recruitment. Simply put, your muscles don't get the same command to contract as powerfully as before. By the two-week mark, you might feel that exercises or daily activities that were once easy have become more difficult. Your muscles might feel less explosive, and your endurance could decline too. This drop in strength can affect everything from lifting weights to climbing stairs or carrying groceries. Additionally, muscle fibers that are responsible for generating high force, known as fast twitch fibers, tend to weaken more quickly during inactivity. These fibers are crucial for strength, speed, and power, so losing their efficiency means you'll feel a bigger impact on your overall performance. However, like muscle size, strength can be regained faster than it was lost once you start working out again. This is thanks to a phenomenon called muscle memory, which helps your muscles recover strength quickly after a period of rest. Metabolism slow when you stop working out for 30 days or more. One of the big changes happening inside your body is a slowdown in metabolism. Your metabolism is how your body converts food into energy and muscles play a major role in keeping it active. Since muscle tissue burns more calories at rest compared to fat, losing muscle means your body starts burning fewer calories throughout the day. As muscle mass decreases due to inactivity, your resting metabolic rate, RMR, drops. This means even when you're not moving, your body needs less energy to function. A slower metabolism makes it easier to gain fat, especially if your calorie intake stays the same or increases. Inactivity also affects other metabolic processes, such as insulin sensitivity. When you don't exercise, your body becomes less efficient at managing blood sugar levels, which can lead to fat storage and increase the risk of metabolic diseases like type 2 diabetes. Moreover, hormone levels related to metabolism, such as thyroid hormones and growth hormone, can decline with prolonged inactivity. These hormones help regulate energy use and muscle maintenance so their reduction further contributes to fat gain and muscle loss. This metabolic slowdown can make it challenging to get back in shape after a break from working out. You might notice it takes more effort and time to lose weight or build muscle again. However, resuming physical activity 
and focusing on resistance training can help boost your metabolism back to healthy levels. Muscle memory. One of the biggest advantages you have after stopping workouts for a while is something called muscle memory. Even though your muscles shrink and strength drops when you're inactive, your body remembers its previous fitness level. This means when you start training again, you can regain muscle and strength much faster than when you first began working out. Muscle memory happens because of changes at the cellular level. When you train regularly, your muscle cells increase the number of nuclei inside them. These nuclei help control muscle growth and repair. Importantly, these extra nuclei don't disappear quickly when you stop exercising, they stick around for weeks or even months. This memory allows your muscles to rebuild faster when you return to training. Besides cellular changes, your nervous system also remembers how to activate muscles effectively. This is why skills and strength can come back quickly and exercises feel easier after a break compared to when you first learned them. Muscle memory also reduces the frustration of losing progress during breaks, making it easier to stay motivated. Whether your break was due to injury, travel, or rest, knowing your body can bounce back helps you push forward confidently. Recovery tips after stopping workouts for several weeks, getting back to your previous muscle strength and size requires a smart recovery plan. Recovery tips are crucial to help your muscles rebuild efficiently without risking injury or burnout. First, start slow and don't rush. Your muscles, nervous system, and cardiovascular fitness need time to readjust. Begin with lighter weights or lower intensity exercises and gradually increase the load as your body adapts. Nutrition plays a huge role in recovery. Focus on protein-rich foods to support muscle repair and growth. Also include plenty of vegetables, fruits, and healthy fats to provide vitamins and minerals necessary for overall health. Staying hydrated is equally important for muscle function and recovery. Rest is another key factor. Muscles grow and repair during rest periods, so ensure you get enough sleep and allow at least 48 hours between training the same muscle groups. Overtraining too soon can lead to setbacks like injuries or excessive fatigue. Incorporating mobility exercises and stretching can reduce stiffness and improve flexibility, making your workout safer and more effective as you rebuild strength. Lastly, listen to your body. Pay attention to pain signals and avoid pushing through sharp or persistent pain. Consistency with gradual progress is better than fast gains with risk of injury. Thanks for watching. If you want to protect your muscles and keep your strength, no matter what, hit that subscribe button now. What surprised you the most about muscle loss when you stopped working out? Share your thoughts below. We'd love to hear your experience. And don't miss our next video. Are you overtraining or just pushing hard? How to tell the difference coming soon. Stay tuned and keep building your best self.